this video is about driving to Mactan. I'm on the way now driving to the first bridge of Mactan because I'm gonna give you a tour of somewhere in Mactan. So I'm not gonna say this on the uh, driving video yet because you know that my videos are spontaneous, it's not planned. So whatever it takes me to show you something up in Mactan. So you can see the familiar place but not so much now if you are a foreigner because usually as a foreigner you'll be passing through the second bridge of Mactan not here the original one which is just closer to the other side of Mactan so for you to come to Cebu you will be taken by the taxi, the taxi or if you're taking uh, getting bus uh, hiring a going in the bus going to Cebu City you'll still be passing through the second bridge as you can see here um, this road is full of commercial establishment you can see all the car display centers and uh, very popular motorcycle centers and most Cebuano before the second bridge was built have to pass this way in going to Mactan Island like you're going to the airport that's why it's all clogged up which triggers the making of the second bridge now the second bridge is also causing a lot of traffic it's also causing a lot of clog up up there despite having two bridge so you see that there will be a third bridge in fact there will be a fourth bridge a third bridge of course you know that is the CCLX from Cordoba and going to the south road properties of Cebu City and then the fourth bridge will be the last time I heard when I went to the Mactan Wharf will be from Sitio Ibo, uh, Barangay Ibo going to Liluan or Consolacion Liluan Way so it spreads out like if you're coming to Cebu from the airport you can go straight to your provinces if you're into the south you go the CCLX way and if you're going to the north you can go by uh, the fort bridge so that was the plan and then they will be also conducting the BRT the bus transit system so that will help us uh, all the transport because as of the moment our transportation means will be are limited to taxis rent a cars and for the masses is jeepneys and motorcycles for hire and for private use so that's all we don't have the we have the buses of course now after the pandemic there's a lot of buses that we can use around the cities now for short distances because usually buses are just for long distance province trip now buses are now servicing um, Low, short distances I was looking at the lechon on the side that's the Mandawi lechon so we are here on AC Cortez Avenue going to the first bridge of Mactan I bet he's gonna stop on my that's another p things that you see here are the vendors on the road or children asking money on every vehicle the thing is if you keep on giving to them you are encouraging them to do that they're not actually street children they have parents but this is their plating they live around the vicinity somewhere some house that they are living somewhere in a small space here or any city is around but the thing is you feel sorry for them but you are encouraging them to do that more so AC Cortez Avenue and you notice that you can now have a 
passenger on the back of your motorcycle which is not allowed before because it's against the social distancing rule in which a lot of people was making a lot of fuss and complaints about it because if you what if it's your spouse that you're taking to work and your only vehicle is the motorcycle so they keep on complaining to the radio station and the radio station people are helping them filing a petition against that ban so it's now allowed to have a passenger on the back of your motorcycle as you can see there you have you can see two people there before you know the first time that it was approved to be banned uh, lift the ban against the two people on a motorcycle they are allowed but you have to have a barrier plastic barrier <laughs> between the driver of the motorcycle and the passenger in which some people how ridiculous it is it's your wife you still gonna be sleeping together at night and you got a barrier and so that ridiculous barrier between the driver and the passenger of the motorcycle was just like implemented for like a week and then because I think the one that instructed it realized how stupid it is it only lasts like a week or 10 days and now it's back to normal one passenger per motorcycle in the cities but of course I cannot deny that in the rural rural areas even if it's like suburbs you know where we are in the mountains oh you still got the five people in a motorbike you know <laughs> the acrobatic things that they do there so it's three o'clock in the afternoon it's not a lot of traffic we're on our way to the first bridge in Mactan. So, you know, have you noticed there's a lot of motorbikes now? Motorbikes is now the quickest way to go around the city here. There are more motorbikes every year been registered. So, you can imagine it with why there's a lot of checks by the authorities like almost every night just to check on the motorbikes because a lot of them are unregistered because you can see how easy it is to install motorbikes you know by installment sometimes no down payment and that's why so many people can avail oh the traffic galore This is Barangay Kambaro, Mandawe City, Cebu. I think I'll have to go by the U-turn slot. I'll go back because it's really traffic. It's supposed to be Saturday today. But I think I'll just have to go back. I don't want to continue there. I'll go somewhere else. So, I will be taking you to the U-turn slot under the bridge. Because look at how clogged up is the traffic. So, it's a mistake going here. So, I will just turn around to the U-turn slot. And you can see that the people are just waiting for it to move look at on the top of the bridge omg so no choice here but to turn around so i'm going off on this way i'm not going up the bridge anymore i'll just be going here and this is the life under the first bridge on that side of mandawi city so i gotta go in here and you can see a lot of 
urban settler shanties around here. They have a proper village that they have here now. Oh, MJ. Look at this. They're using the pathway as an extension again of their household. So this is the Mandawi side under the bridge, but look at that, all the shanties. So I'm just going back. It's hard to go by a oh, MG, oh, MG. Um, It's hard to go by a second bridge, second bridge as of the moment, because they are also fixing the road there. The hardest one is the road going back. There are so many potholes there on the road going back. It's okay going to Magtan on the second bridge, but going back, please avoid it as of the moment until it's finished by May. Because they're expanding the road and they're still continue breaking up the old one, but they still continue to let you pass through. So that's why it's so uncomfortable to drive there. So we are just returning our way here in A.S. Cortez Street and I will be going on the left side I think to go to S&R so empty buildings So this is AC Cortez Avenue, right to the overpass, uh, overpass there on the end. This is the first road of Mandawe that you will see from the going down from the first bridge. That's road benders. I know you will not see that in your country, but a lot of them here in the Philippines. I'll just turn off and I'll continue when it's on the light is green. So I am now here in Floridel Street, Mandawa City, because I'm avoiding going to the first bridge is so stuck up with traffic so here we are you can see it's not clogged up here yet but this is another street that's not been so explored yet because usually you go straight into highway Mandawi city not here so if you look at the map of Mandawi city this is called the Plaridel street Mandawi city and there's a Garmin Center and a lot a few of commercial centers been built around a lot of the urban settlers has been moved out up here on the front they are living on the back so 
it's uh, Plaridel Street. There's also the University of Visayas, Mandawi Campus, which is now closed because there is no schooling allowed. There's the Freeman newspaper office there. And that's the school supplies and HLLT marketing is quite cheap for school supplies. Continuing on, if you look at on the left side, there's a lot of urban settlers there, aka some of them call it squatters. But like I said, some of them are not really squatters, they just live there they, and when they want because they actually ask the permission of the government to live there. You pay 25000 at once and you can use the government land and some of them have done that. Although there is people that just build anything to any space they can find. I'll just um, stop by to check on my registration man here. I have someone that uh, processes all my registration on this side. So I'll have to check on him. Registration of my vehicles. that insurance office it seems close so the person's office is close the whole it's a big um, office so I just they're only operating Monday to Friday now they don't operate Sundays it's there in their uh, there's a card that they put in the office so continuing on we're here in Mandawi City highway this is the north reclamation area drive here you can find by hotel and uh, park mall uh, mall <laughs> and also this is the way where SNR is I'm not surprised because since the closure establishments only allow working only Monday to Friday and but they have all the full staff and Friday and Sunday is not it's just two days rest now per week but at least it's encouraging that it's not like a skeletal force a lot is going back normally except for like two day offs now a week so we're here stuck on the traffic again this is by hotel here in North Reclamation area and on the right side that's the old convention center but up ahead where the Jollibee sign is that is the park mall Mandawi City Park Mall there you can see the sign of the park mall this is North Reclamation Area Mandawi City it's straight on to Cebu City by a that's where you can see by uh, by beside the SM City Cebu that can be seen here from North Reclamation area but a lot of you have passed through here because especially if you're living in the south area of Cebu you'll be passing here and going to the airports like the airport you're going to the airport and you're going to the north you're gonna to have to pass this way otherwise you'll be stuck in traffic in the middle of the Mandawi highway so you can be a bit faster here you can see there's two hospitals being built around here the you know University of Cebu Medical School and on the back here across on the left side is the Cebu Doctors University so to 
to and also there's a Chongwa hospital here so there's three to ease up the clog in around Puente Osmania because that's where the original Chongwa is and the Cebu doctors around um, Capitol it's so clogged up there all the time before so I'm gonna go on the left because I'm gonna pick up some drinks and SNR So you can see now that SNR is allowing you to have a companion to go in. During the pandemic is only the card holder is allowed to go in. Or one person, one card. Now you can have a companion as long as you wear the face shield and importantly the face mask. It's Saturday today there's a lot of shoppers as expected but since I went to the local grocery the Metro grocery a while ago I was not able to buy some of coke syrup for old B I'm really really pissed about old B because I bought him chocolates for his Valentine's gift because chocolate is like food for the God as far as old B is concerned like one day I asked him why do you like chocolate so much um, would you rather have chocolate or marry me and his answer was I don't want to answer anything that will incriminate himself so so that means that you will not marry me in favor of chocolates okay I'm going out now to film because I was not planning to film out and I check on the Valentine's Day chocolate that I reserve hidden somewhere in the fridge and I only have the wrapper when I press it it goes flat that means he has already consumed the chocolate that I bought him for Valentine's Day any chocolate that I hide in the house old B is like a rat that can smell it I I don't know where I'm gonna hide it but he, he seemed to have a nose to find the chocolates I'm here hiding somewhere so I have decided now that if I buy chocolate I'm gonna keep it on the bedroom that he won't know that I'm buying chocolate and then in the receipts of the groceries I will be keeping it away so he won't be checking it I think he checks that there's chocolate I bought then he can find it oh now I'm here in SNR to see if what I uh, I could have to get some drinks that all be like Coke Zero because he, he do he do likes his Coke Zero and the distilled water because I don't I'm the only one who drinks the ordinary water you know or the mineral water but he I'll give him and my daughter just distilled water so for my peace of mind that's for my own peace of mind that I'm sure you know so here we are I'm here outside SNR membership shopping area <laughs> 